Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Neighborhood concept and rights. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever glorious book, Worship Allah, do nothing with Him, be good to your parents, to relatives, to orphan, to the needy, to neighbors near and far. I bear witness. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, and that Muhammad is a servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path to the Day of Judgment. Kindness to neighbors is a noble value that strength the bond of love and fraternity. Spread the spirit of cooperation and solidarity and promote stability among members of society. Therefore, Islamic Sharia has paid great attention to the value of being kind to neighbors to the extent that the Prophet has said, Jibreel kept recommending treating neighbor, neighbors with kindness until I thought he would assign them a share of inheritance. It goes without saying that the, the concept of neighborhood extends to include neighbors at home, neighbors at work, and the neighbors neighbor during a trouble. The Almighty Allah said, Worship Allah, doing nothing with Him, be good to your parents, to relatives, to orphan, to the needy, to neighbors near and far, to travelers in need, and to your slaves. Allah does not like arrogant, boastful people. The right of neighborhood is an inherent right in Islam. Our Prophet said, he who believes in Allah and the day of judgment, let him not harm his neighbor. In another hadith, the Prophet ﷺ said, By Allah, he is not a believer. By Allah, he is not a believer. By Allah, he is not a believer. Three times. He ﷺ was asked, Who is that, Ya Rasulullah, O Messenger of Allah? He said, One whose neighbor does not feel safe from his evil. Also the Prophet wasallam, peace be upon him, said, He who believes in Allah and the last day should be good to his neighbor. One of the manifestations of good treatment with neighbor in Islam is the saying of the Prophet wasallam, that when you buy fruit, give part of, of it to him, means for the neighbor as a gift. Otherwise, you should bring it to home secretly. This means one should impose before his neighbors with his material potential and capabilities. The Prophet ﷺ added in the hadith, do not let your children go out with the fruit before your neighbor's children. This may make the neighbor's children sad and upset. And thus it would promote hatred and envy among neighbors. Then the Prophet ﷺ added, and do not hurt him, neighbor, with the smell of your food. Do not hurt him with the smell of your food, unless to send some of it as a gift. The right of neighbor includes, Visiting him if he gets sick. Congratulating him on a happy occasion. Counseling him on a bad incident. Helping him in a misfortunes. And observing the highest degree of goodness with him. Our Prophet wasallam said, The best friend in the sight of Allah is the best for his friends. And the best of his of neighbors in the, the best is the best of his neighbors. Umar ibn Khattab considered that a testimony made by a person in a favor of or against his neighbor is the highest level of recommendation or criticism. A person may be able to deceive some people for some time. A person 
may be able to deceive some people for some time. But he cannot deceive his neighbors all the time. But when a man came to the Prophet ﷺ asking him, O oh Messenger of Allah, Ya Rasulullah, tell me an action that will bring me to paradise. He, peace be upon him, said, Be good. The man asked again, How can I know that I'm a good man? The Prophet ﷺ said, replied, Ask your neighbors, if they say that you are a good man, then you are a good man. And if they say that you are a bad man, then you are bad. The Islamic Sharia urges us to treat all neighbors well in accordance with, uh, with the due rights stated in Islam. Abu Darda used to tell his wife, when you cook food, Increase it so that we can send some of, of it to our neighbors. Also, Abdullah ibn Umar ibn Khattab used to say when he would slaughter a sheep, send part of its meat to our Jewish neighbor. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his companions, and followers. Our Prophet ﷺ strongly warned against harming neighbors when some people came to our Prophet ﷺ and mentioned to him, a woman is performing much prayer and fasting, but she insult her neighbors. He, peace be upon him, commented, she is in the hellfire. To this extent, yes, she is in a hellfire. However, we affirm that the rights of a neighbor are not limited to avoiding harming him and causing evil to him in any form, either verbally or physically. Al Hassan al Basri said, Good neighborhood is not limited to prevention of harm, rather, it includes sharing the troubles of the neighbors, as such trait is a trait of good people and an act that highly pleases Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as He glory be to Him said, through, though if a person is patient and forgives, this is, this is one of the greatest things. Allah also said, good and evil cannot be equal. Repel evil with what is better, and your enemy will become as close as an old and valued friend. We affirm that the right of neighborhood is not only limited to rights of individuals, but also include the rights of the states. Just as individuals have neighborhood rights, neighboring countries have rights. The most important of which are protecting boundaries, keeping covenant and agreement, guarding neighboring countries and providing help and assistance assistance in case of need. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help our country Egypt and give our country Egypt and all other countries of the world. Thank you.